All right, hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to summarize an ebook that is more than 1 million words into some digestible summaries that you can use for your content creation for you to just to be able to digest the content of the paper in a very much simpler and focused manner so to start with this particular ai tool that we're going to use is google ai studio they've launched a new feature that you can now be able to summarize content from a book for your own consumption so like usual you can go to ai studio google.com and you to bring over here of course you have to log in with your email and password or with your google account it is free to access so once you're here you notice that this is the chat prompting area okay that's when you are under the chat that's our main target for today so you can see that you can have the option to send in your prompt directly or you can add in the details or you can upload content from my drive from a file within your system you can record you can use your camera you can add a youtube video or sample media from somewhere that you can be able to use so for this tutorial we're going to do a simple book so we're going to upload it from my system which is this book it's a complete book that talks about the urban flood management so you can just click and you can bring it in so this uploading and you can always go ahead and type in your prompt over here so let's say can you summarize the content of this book in detail so once you upload the book there are some key things you need to pay attention to for example to it right over here this is where you're going to select the model that you're going to use for today i'm going to use gemini 1.5 pro which has over 2 million tokens or 2 million words that you can use. But for this book, this is about 78,000 tokens that you can see from here down. 78,175 tokens, uh, which is what you can use to create this. Now you can come down here and you can be able to play around with some of the key settings, but I usually keep everything at default. What I'm interested in is the model settings. And once you're done, you can just go ahead and give me the prompt and hit on enter to start generating so this is going to take some seconds to read out the complete book and then from here we can start asking questions about the book and as you can see here it can take up to 2 million words okay a book that is up to 2 million words at a time and can give you a complete summary and you can even as well have the detailed conversations about the book and about the content of this particular book so i picked it with about less than 100,000 words just for illustration purpose but you can put in books up to 2 million so let's just give it some seconds to give us the breakdown as you can see the timing is now taken up to 49 to 50 seconds and it's now beginning to generate the summary from the book you can see it has classified the summary into chapters you know chapter one what is the content it start with the general summary of the book what the book is all about that's what it has written here and then we have chapter one and the key summary point of what is contained in chapter one and you can see chapter two this chapter focuses on these features and then these are the key summaries chapter three the same thing chapter four the same thing because i particularly ask it to be detailed in terms of the summary that it's going to give you so you can see it is taking it up to chapter six uh, the case study as well as the details it is continuously giving us details of what is contained in the book so it is very very effective to kind of generate summaries of content directly using this tool and then you can see overall the urban flood management books provide a valuable resource for urban planners engineers and policy makers seeking to address complex issue of urban flooding in a sustainable and integrated manner so you can actually go ahead and copy the content and even regenerate run this tool kind of regenerate another response from this or you can edit the content directly or you can on your own click over here to delete or copy the text or copy the markdown and then use it somewhere else now you can go as detailed we can see more detail for example can you give me the focus areas of chapter five in the book here you can give me the focus areas of chapter 5 in this book so you can just go ahead and hit on enter let's give you some seconds and let's see what it is going to come back with and as you can see it is giving us the content this is chapter 5 what to focus on in chapter 5 directly 
is what it is giving us. And you can see the details, structure and components, guiding principles, strategies and scenarios, specific majors, structural and non-structural majors. You can see the details of what it has given us. So these are key areas that you can focus on. Now to tell you more about the power of this AI, I will show you how you can be able to even interpret images from figures from the book that we've just added. So let's say, can you explain go 1.3 in the book okay so let's see whether it is going to be able to do that so to tell you how very specific it can be as regards the content of the book that i've just sent it to so let me show you what figure 1.3 is let's have a look at it here all right so this is figure 1.3 pollution cycle in cities okay so this explains acid rain water supply domestic and industrial load urban drainage and so on so let's see whether it's going to truly pick in something like that and then give us so you can see figure 1.3 in urban flood management illustrate urban pollution cycle and that is exactly what it is and then it has explained the key components of that particular figure you can see water supply domestic industrial loads urban drainage uh, discharge back to source okay acid rain and metals this is exactly what the figure is all about and you can see at the end it gives us the key message of the figure what the figure actually illustrates and what it is after so the key thing or the final thing is for you to now be able to actualize what do you want to do with this kind of tool and in your own content creation or in your own journey what kind of book do you want to summarize what kind of content do you want to extract out of the book this can help you to digest different kind of content depending once you upload it you can navigate through and ask direct questions within the book so for example let's ask one final question take a look at this table this is table 1.5 can it explain this let's see okay can you explain table 1.5 and let's see this is the last prompt for this all right, so you can see this is it. Table 1.5 on urban flood management showcases the disparity in water consumption and water loss in distribution networks between cities in developing countries. And that's exactly what it is. And you can see here is a breakdown of the table. They place the year consumption and losses in network. It even harnesses and give you the key conversations and interpretations from that table. So this is really, really detailed. And this is next level. It gives you examples from the table and an overall feature of what you should pay attention to directly from that particular table. So this is exactly what the table is all about. And I challenge you to just try to see what you can do, how you can use this feature to your own advantage. So this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of the Google AI Studio to summarize content from textbooks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.